Hello everybody, this is Jane Chip from Willow Blue Vintage and today I'm showing you my latest journal that I've made using some of the bundles from the premium part of the Graphics Fairy website. At the time of doing this we're in another lockdown in the UK and I think like lots of people I'd really love to be travelling and because we can't do it in person I'm doing it through my imagination I made this travel journal. So I wanted it to be something quite functional um, that somebody could use to put all of their useful things in, their important things, tickets, maps, what have you. Um, so it needed to be quite robust. So I decided to make this little pocket for it and I printed some um, onto some calico using one of the maps from the European Maps Bundle and, and stitched it to make this little pocket that holds the journal. So the journal itself I wanted it to represent a journey, not just through the contents of it, but also through the structure. So I decided to make a concertina journal. So it folds out like this. And so it's got this sort of linear quality um, as if you're sort of following the journey along. Because it's, it needs to be able to open out like that, it couldn't have the normal structure, so it couldn't have a cover with a spine. So I made a front and back cover um, that's sort of stitched onto either end. So these are made from calico and I printed photographs onto some cotton and stitched them on. So the front has these three travelling ladies and the back has a photo from one of the bundles of the Eiffel Tower. And then it all ties together with this silk tie. So looking at the structure again, as I say it opens out like this and to represent the journey I've put this stitching all the way along, there's this red line that represents a journey going right through it and in each of the valley folds I've put one of these sort of swinging pockets so there's lots of places in here that are holding ephemera and it can be opened out and viewed like that. You can go through it like a book looking at it all and you can flip it over and do the same from the back. So if we start going through the different pages the, the actual structure was made from lots of old maps and um, foreign language books. So this is a piece of a Greek dictionary. Um, there's Spanish book there, French, all sorts of different nationalities actually sort of making the structure of it. And then I used numerous bundles from the Graphics Fairy for the ephemera that is sort of built on top of that base. So there's loads of pockets. Um, Starting off here, I made a lot of postcards using the, using the Vintage Postcards bundle and that's a copy of a postcard that I have. On a lot of them I've used images from different uh, bundles to make the postcards. And I've got a decal edge cutter that makes this um, sort of this crimped edge like old postcards used to have. And there's a ticket there. So this swing pocket is made from an old envelope and it's got a ticket for a hot air trip that my traveller went on. She's a very adventurous woman. There's a photograph there and I made this little pocket for stamps. So as she's travelling she's writing home and she's got this little supply of stamps there to use. This pocket here was made from one of the printables. So it was from the um, bibliophile ephemera. Um, so the pocket sort of folds up to construct it. And I cut it down a bit and put a different back on it just to make this little pocket there. And I printed a lot of handwritten script from one of the bundles onto this sort of semi-transparent paper. So it's got the look and weight of airmail paper. And then this swing pocket here is made from some ephemera. Um, printed out a lot of maps from the European Maps Bundle and the old World Maps Bundles. 
and another postcard, another postcard there. And this little pocket, it's got a photograph that I've painted onto, cigarette card of a monument, and one of these little printable envelopes. So this was from the European Maps Bundle, and it's these envelopes here. And I filled it with some of these little collage cards that also come from the European Maps Bundle. It's got all these little cards made with images of different places like the Eiffel Tower, Lena Tower of Pisa. So these little sort of travel mementos fit in that envelope. And this swing pocket, again, it's got receipts printed onto this transparent paper. Another postcard, the Arc de Triomphe. The backs of these postcards are really lovely, this handwriting. That's a tag I printed onto some cotton. Another swing pocket here. Got a train timetable from Italy. Uh, that's Some of those are on my Etsy shop, downloads of old train timetables. Got a map of Florence and some more of her handwritten notes. Maybe it's things that she's going to remember to write into her diary later or things that she wants to tell people back home. Another letter there and a little card with a monument. And this, I really love this. So this is from a printable sheet from the French newspaper and ephemera bundle. Um, this is the sheet comes like this, so you, you print it like this, there's a couple of them. Um, so you get lots of different things all in one go. And I cut out the image and then used a real photo that I put behind to sort of frame it. If you don't have an old photo, you could use an image from the Instant Ancestors bundle. And then here, again, we've got the swing pocket and a little tuck spot there made from the back of an old... Um, cabinet card in one of the bundles and I made this little notebook for her to keep notes in. So the front of the um, notebook is from the French mini ephemera bundle and the backs from the French attic bundle. Really gorgeous images and then I just printed some of the blank um, ephemera note paper. So that slots in there. In here I've got another old train timetable from 1912, a receipt, and we've got one of the maps from Zurich, an old photograph, and a business car from a hotel that maybe she stayed in in Amsterdam, so the train timetable and a, a receipt, maybe she rented a bike to cycle around Paris pockets made from more ephemera and then more receipts and maps got an old wine list here from one of the bundles another of those little envelopes with the collage cards in and an old cigarette card of some of the pyramids and then the final swing spot in this one has got a postcard and some more of her handwritten notes and then the whole thing flips over and we can go through the back so another business card there and a photograph that I've painted onto lots of these gorgeous uh, images in the background a photograph and a bit of a photograph negative there and then this pocket I've got a, a postcard from one of the bundles of the Eiffel Tower and a map of Paris another postcard and then here's another of those frames um, so again I used a real photograph but you could um, you could use something from the Instant Ancestors 
and I used one of the cabinet card backs to put that in so maybe that's some loved ones that she's wanting to remember as she travels and then this pot, uh, pocket here I stitched onto cotton and, and stitched that in so I printed onto cotton and stitched that in and that holds a, a tag and these images of ladies um, fashion so maybe she went to a fashion show in Paris and these are the styles that she wants to order for her her next wardrobe another tuck spot there with a photograph and a map and a little cigarette card so that's the same again so this is another of those um, printable frames from the French newspaper and ephemera bundle that again I stuck a photo behind another little um, tuck spot I really love this label from one of the bundles and we've got the postcard of um, maybe Notre Dame I'm not sure and a menu from an old uh, restaurant ticket all these souvenirs of a fabulous tour through Europe and then this um, tuck spot here is that image again but larger um, that I folded in half and made this tuck spot um, that holds this old receipt another really pretty um, print there for this swing tuck spot from um, some old soap and that's holding a tag and a map for Berlin and then this tuck spot here is made from the one of the cabinet card bags which is really pretty and I made this little sewing kit um, in case she loses a button or anything she's got needle and thread so this is made from the sewing ephemera bundle um, so I printed the front and the back and then made this little booklet um, the background though is just some images that I'd got left over from previous projects so again I printed onto some fabric to make this little um, Thing to hold a needle and thread so the needle just slides into there and tucks in and I used one of the button cards to stitch some buttons on and then this butterfly I wound some cotton round and made a little snip there for the threads to go through to hold some spare threads so she's well prepared should she need to do any stitching and then this pocket, another postcard, another map of this time of Lyon. And we've got some more of her handwritten notes, postcard, another map, this time St. Petersburg. She's really travelled quite a long way. Another train timetable there. And then we're back to the, the start. So I hope you enjoyed looking through that journal. Thank you.